Stuart Carroll here back with another episode in our video editing series. If you haven't done so already, learn how to use Final Cut Pro 10 in 20 minutes. Link up there somewhere. So this is a sponsored video. We want to bring your attention to Toco Graphics Pack, an established product on After Effects and Premiere Pro, now available in Final Cut Pro. You can go to the links below Check out the price, it's $49 or $59. You can look at the reviews. If you want to see some social proof, if you like, look at the Premiere Pro page because the product's been out a lot longer in that respect and you can see that it is universally very highly regarded. So we have no hesitation in bringing it to your attention. Added to that, we used it extensively when creating our latest premium course drone cinematography crash course and it was used comprehensively throughout. So I really have put it to the test and have used it in our paid content. With 1250 graphical items, I was a little bit concerned that it would be a case of quantity over quality. I'd rather pay the same amount of money for 100 great items than 1250 mediocre ones, but that's not actually the case here. Everything is well organized into categories. You quickly learn to navigate your way through those categories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to demonstrate some of these first, just take you through the pack, and then I'll show you how we've used them in a practical context to add value to our content. Very quickly, we have backgrounds here. We've got basic shapes, all animated. You can hover over them, press play, and you can see that it's animated. Big titles, now we use these extensively. Really cool animated titles. Callouts, now this is something that I would certainly have paid for separately to get these cool stylish callouts that you can use in your projects. These devices are pretty sweet, all very pink and purpley as default, but that can all be changed. Gradients. Infographics, some seriously stylish stuff going on here for your corporate work or any other kind of content. Animated graphics here when it comes to arrows and so on and so forth. Logo reveals, these ones are very stylish. You can see this right at the start of your YouTube channel, for example. Just change the title. Lower thirds, great for introducing your name or chapters. We use these a lot in our recent content. Shape lines. Again, all very jazzy and luminous, but this can all be changed should you wish. Social media, really cool for encouraging people to sign up. Text messages, stylish for music videos. Titles, this is probably one of the ones that we used the most. Let me hover over this and just demonstrate one. Very nice indeed. Typography, tons of cool things. Look forward to demonstrating this one because this is really cool. This one, you can drop images into those various boxes. And weather icons, should you be talking about the weather. In addition, over in transitions here, we have tons of new transitions, many of them very good. And it's worth mentioning as well that we have 500 sound effects in this pack also. In terms of putting this into practice, everything is customizable. Let me go back to one of my favorite ones and I'll show you how we work with it. So it is in typography, I think. Yeah, if we scroll down, now check this out. We drag this down here, let me just zoom in a bit. Now it doesn't look much as it stands, but if I play through this, pretty cool. With the item selected, up here we have all the parameters that we can change. So let's change this to master class because that's something that we sell, Masterclass 2.0. Now, as you can see, the 2.0 is not in the right place. So let's just scroll down and find where we can change that. Well, that is text B. So we're just gonna go to position text B, X axis, and slide that across. Very nice. Masterclass by da, 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 drone film guide. Sweet. What about this P, right? Let's change that to DFG for Drone Film Guide. Text is a little bit big there, so we shall reduce the size of the text. Okay, and we'll move it up a little bit. Ah, nice, there we go. That looks a lot better. This little thing over here, this kind of menu item, you can get rid of that if you want. That is the so-called element. So we'll take the element opacity to zero. We don't need that for now. Now look at these grey boxes, it doesn't really look much at the moment, but if we go down to here, drop zone number one, and we go find some of our original 
content. Now in this case we have some pictures prepared that we can drop into there. So we'll take that one, love it. Drop zone two, we'll take that one. Now that's not quite right, so we'll just scale that back a little bit. Uh, can we go a bit further? Yes, now we're talking. Pretty sweet way of promoting your premium content, wouldn't you say? And it's quick and it works. We've bought plugins in the past that kind of promise the world, if I'm honest, and then by the time you actually try and play around with them and customize them, things just don't look that great. I haven't found that to be the case here. One of the sections we've used most is the titles. As you can see, they're really nice animated titles, stylishly done, but easily customizable. Personally, we haven't found that we've had to change too much. If we start to play through this promotional video that we did for one of our recent products, you can see how we've put it into practice, overlaying these titles on some nice drone footage underneath. It was easy to meet our requirements in terms of fonts and in terms of appearance. There's one of the callouts coming in. Animated titles is very engaging and very dynamic. In this next clip, you'll see how we used basic shapes to help emphasize a rule of thirds compositional concept in filmmaking. So we have the grid and up pop those yellow dots. Let's just go back. I think it's really classy, I have to say, and adds good production value to our promotional video. Up they come again. Now that's in this basic shapes section, which at face value, you could look at that and think, oh, I don't really know what to do with this. This is just a bunch of pink boxes and purple circles. But in the right context, you can really customize these to your needs. So there is the circle. As I say, it's just a big pink circle. Up it comes, right in the middle, but we've made it smaller. We've done four of them, combining it with some other graphics in the form of those grid lines, and it really enhanced the point that we were trying to make. The so-called devices are definitely worth a look. If we drag one of these down, now look at this unique typography pack. Now first things first, let's get a picture in there. So let's go down to the drop zone box and find something nice to put in there. Well, as you've seen, we've prepared some content already. So we apply that clip. Now here's a good tip for you in terms of getting a sort of coordinated approach to color within your graphics. As you can see, this is all a little bit clashing and we don't really know where it's going. So click on this and instead of selecting a color around here, pick on the dropper and then go on to your image that you've inserted and pick a color from your image. Okay, let's go with that. It's kind of in keeping with the palette in the image. Let's try the next one and we'll go to the dropper and let's pick something different. Let's pick one of the more kind of brownie tones and see how that blends. Okay, not bad, but you can see where I'm going with it. As you can see, that blue just isn't really working at all, so we can change that to something else. We can either manually select a yellow, which I personally love for typography. In fact, I think we'll go with that yellow, and that looks pretty nice. I'll leave it at that for now because there's obviously far too much to demonstrate here with 1250 effects in this graphics pack. As I say, this is a sponsored post, so we're not going to say it's rubbish, but personally, I do think it is a very good pack. We've genuinely used it, and anything I say is certainly backed up by the dozens and dozens of reviews that you will see on the sales page if you click on the links below to check the price for either Final Cut Pro, which is what we've demonstrated here, or Premiere Pro. I'll run a little montage now just to finish off so you can see some more of these effects in action and we will see you next time.